also to the stops that I haven't mentioned yet. These stops are mutations and mixtures. These are stops which are at non-standard pitches. So when you play C, the note you hear is not C, it's something else, depending on the particular speaking length, as we call it. So the speaking length of most of the stops we've seen so far is 8 foot, or 4 foot, or 2 foot, or 16 foot. But the 12th on the grate is 2 and 2 thirds foot. That actually means that it produces an interval a 12th higher than the note that you play. Now, what's the purpose of this stop? Well, when you combine it with other stops of a similar family, it gives brightness and extra color to the combination. So this stop is absolutely useless on its own. It's only useful when it's combined appropriately with other stops. Because this belongs to the diapason family, although it's quite a gentle sound, so it almost sounds like a flute, you can use it in combination with diapasons or with flutes. So if I were to draw eight foot, four foot and two foot diapasons and add the twelfth, it adds just a little bit of richness to the sound. This stop is particularly useful in combination with flutes. It adds a lot of color and you can use it as a solo registration. If we have the eight foot flute, the four foot flute, we sound like this. And we put the twelfth on top of it. It adds a very interesting extra layer to that sound. So even though it's playing a note which is not the note we're actually playing, it's playing an octave and a fifth up, it doesn't sound like that when we use it in combination with stops of eight and four foot pitch. If you leave a gap between these and you use just 8 foot and the 12th, it's a little bit easier to distinguish these sounds. And that can be a bit confusing to your listeners. They might end up hearing the two notes unless you bridge that gap by adding the 4 foot stop. On this organ we also have a stop called tierce, which is 1 and 3 fifths foot in speaking length. That actually gives us the interval of two octaves and a third. So if you combine that just with the eight foot stop, it produces quite a horrible effect. It sounds like two notes playing at once because that's essentially what is happening. However, this can add useful color again in combination with stops of other pitches. Let's see what it does if we add it to the 8-foot flute, the 4-foot flute, and the 12th, which we used a moment ago. Here's the tears. It adds a whole extra character to that stop. We also have mixtures. And a mixture is unlike the other speaking stops. Each note in the mixture has a couple of pipes per note and they're of different pitches, hence the name mixture. The purpose of the mixture is to enrich and brighten the chorus, the diapason chorus. So here we have on the swell, eight foot, four foot, two foot, our diapason chorus. Now let's add the mixture for extra brightness and richness. We have a similar combination on the great eight foot, four foot, two foot principles. Add the twelfth as well to this for brightness. It's very subtle, but it does make a small difference. And add the mixture to that. Very striking, very bright sound. Now finally, we have non-speaking stops. And on this organ, they're the ones that have the lettering in red. These are accessories, as they're sometimes called. 
they don't actually make a sound. So if I put all the stops off, but I draw all the red stops and play, nothing happens. But yet, if you watch, something is happening to the way the organ functions. First of all, you have three tremulants. These cause the wind to shake and produce a tremolo or vibrato effect. They work best with flute stops. So here we have the stop diapason, which remember is a flute on the choir, and we have the tremulant. It produces a very gentle vibration. Likewise, on the grate, if we add Let's use that registration we used a moment ago. Eight foot flute, four foot flute, twelfth, and the tierce. Now let's add the tremulant. It adds a little bit of shimmer. And we also have a tremulant on the swell, which we can use with the swell stops. We then have these stops down here. These are all couplers, and they combine the manuals together so that you can play two manuals at once. Or you can combine the pedals and the manuals together so that you can play one of the manuals with the pedals. We have swell to choir, which means that the swell keys are coupled down to the choir. So when we play on the choir, we play the swell as well. We then have swell to great, which means when we play on the great, we play the swell also. And then we have each of the manuals to pedal. So, great to pedal. Or we can play the great with the pedal. Swell to pedal. And finally, choir to pedal. And what's very useful about these stops is that we can combine stops on different manuals that otherwise we wouldn't be able to combine if we didn't have them on the same manual.